Xin Xiao, what's up everybody? All right, in today's video, it's gonna be things I am bringing back to Vietnam. I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel while I'm over in the USA. Thank you for the live streams. Thank you for the people who have signed up at Patreon. Thank you for the single time um, PayPal donations. Without these type of things, I wouldn't be able to have this channel. And also to just the people that watch the videos and, and comment and like, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Without you guys, like I said, this wouldn't be possible. So, <clears throat> all the gift packs are going out today for the live stream and for the Patreon. So, if you are one of those people, you've already been alerted or you've already sent me your address and it is in the... It's going out today. So, you should have it in like a week if you're in America. There's one guy in Australia. I think I'm going to ship that from Vietnam because I think it'll be cheaper to ship to Australia from Vietnam. So, yours is going to be a little bit of a wait, dude but you are gonna get yours, so I'm gonna try to find out some kind of shipping thing so I can send out a bunch of stuff all the time where I, where I can maybe get stuff from Vietnam to America in a cheaper way. So I haven't found that yet, so if anybody does know of a way to ship stuff for sheep from Vietnam to America, please let me know. So let's get into it. Things that I am gonna bring back with me um, to, uh, Good old Saigon. Well, first things first. Yeah, some of you guys are going to laugh, but whatever. Who cares? So, yeah, spice packs. Um, it's You can get some spice packs. Like the American store, they call it. Those, those three American stores that are all side by side e each other there. I've walked through those so extensively. They're mainly Australian stores, so they get a lot of their product from Australia because the shipping is much cheaper than trying to get it from America. They have some, um, they have some uh, American stuff, but they don't have like much stuff. They just have like one cheap taco mix seasoning from one company, and they're like five bucks. I want to say no. How much are they? Four dollars, five dollars. You know, these are a dollar here. So we got. First one's going to be Taco Bell, so I can make some tacos. And then we've got a hot chili. Yes, you can make a chili mix easily in Vietnam. Then we've got a sloppy gel. Yes. And then I got a bunch of these uh, ranch packs. So ranch is actually really expensive, and I do love ranch on occasion. The Hidden Valley Ranch is, uh, for a bottle of the smaller Hidden, ba Hidden Valley Ranch, it's like $7 in Vietnam. So... You know, like like I said, these were a dollar, so this is just going to be a lot easier for me. And then the other thing, which might surprise some people, I'm pretty good at at growing things. <laughs> if anybody's followed the channel, I've talked about it before how I used to grow cannabis. But so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take some pepperoncinis. I got some heirloom tomatoes. I got a couple other things um, that I wasn't able to find in Vietnam. I'm gonna take some jalapeno seeds as well, and yeah, I'm gonna grow some stuff on my porch. And hopefully we get some nice, uh, you know, pepperoncinis and stuff like that. That stuff's also available to get in Vietnam, but it's super expensive. It's like 10 bucks. Like, I don't have the money to waste on that stuff. So the next thing, the other things I'm taking home um, are shoes. Because it's very difficult to get my size shoe in Vietnam. It's next to nearly impossible. I have a size 13, which is like a 47 and a half or 8. Very, very difficult to get. So the first thing I got was a pair of slides, and these were really affordable. These were like 20 bucks. So I got a pair of Under Armour slides. They're very comfortable. They're going to be great. I've already been wearing them here. Well, they're phenomenal. So if you have big feet, you're definitely going to want to bring shoes and uh, enough for a couple of years. Like I thought I did well and I bought two pairs of shoes, but I roll through shoes like every six months because I walk so frequently. You know, I'm walking anywhere from... 15,000 to 20,000 steps a day. Sometimes on a light day, 10,000, if I'm not really going out and filming and stuff, you know, I'll do my run, which takes up for about 8,000 steps. And then uh, I'll walk around, you know, the Golden River and make up the other 2,000. I, I always hit a minimum of 10,000 steps, no matter what, every day. Yeah, I, I still fat. I don't look, you know, amazing, but I do actually work out a lot. You know, when I'm in Vietnam in Saigon, I swim in the pool every single day. 30 minutes non-stop and it's almost a it's a pretty big pool so and then I run for about 
40 minutes every day, 35, 40 minutes. I've actually been extending that here and doing a bit more running and it's a bit more intense here. So I should be in better running shape when I get back to Vietnam. But that's the other thing that I bought here is I got a pair of Adidas Boost, these here. And a little shoe tip, if you're not uh, set into one color, you can kind of peruse around on like Amazon and find whatever color isn't selling the best and it's usually cheaper. Like those were at a pretty good discount because I guess that color combo isn't that popular. I really like that color combo. So for me, wasn't a big deal. So this is stuff, you know, that the only thing that's going to be necessitized, you know, necessary for you to take is shoes if you've got big feet. And then things like Metamucil are very difficult to get. So if you take Metamucil, which I have for years because it, it just does a good job at cleaning everything up, um, you're going to want to take that with you. You're going to want to take a couple big jars with you. And then, uh, but yeah, the, the shoes are great. I've been running in these really good shoes. I really like the Adidas Boost. I was an Under Armour Hoover guy forever. And then uh, I jumped over to Adidas in Vietnam when I found they had some pairs there on the other boost, the first boost. So they've been nothing but good shoes to me. Great running shoes and they're a great casual walking shoe. So if you're gonna be walking a lot, like how I do, I walk everywhere in Vietnam, in Saigon, you're gonna want a good pair of shoes. So other thing I picked up was these awesome sunglasses, which I've been wearing in a lot of the videos. These were a very affordable sunglass. They actually have a hinge to them too. So you kind of want to get that hinge and I don't, my, my rule of thumb on sunglasses, nothing over 10 bucks because they're, I, I'm rough on sunglasses. You know, eventually I'll break these because I put, I always put them up here on the top of my head. And then if you don't have the right pair and they're not securely snugging under here, when you bend down, they can just go down and crack in half. So other stuff is, is Winnie asked me to get her some things to give to her family and stuff like that. So like a 10 pack of chapstick, it, she picks some weird stuff, but I get it. it it's. You can get this stuff, but it's a bit more expensive in Vietnam. I also got her a perfume. She wanted some Hermes perfume and it was on sale. So we got her a Hermes perfume. I'm still debating on whether I'm gonna ship this stuff through the service or check a bag. I hate checking a bag. There's so many things that can go wrong with checking a bag. I almost always try to avoid checking a bag. But we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe not. Next one we got is uh, multivitamins. So, Winnie wanted one of these. I think she's going to give them again as gifts to the family. You can get these in Vietnam, but they are twice the price, three times the price. So, if I am going to check a bag, these won't be a big deal to to take. Not really that hard. But yeah, the <laughs> the main thing taking this is not hard to do. So, if you're going to fancy some American food. And it always amazes me when someone's like, just eat Vietnamese food the whole time you're in Vietnam. Why would you ever eat an American food? Vietnamese food is so good. I don't know, man. For me, once you're there and you're eating Vietnamese food every day for a couple months, you want to, you start getting the taste of home and you miss the taste of home. So that's where that comes into play. Um, you know, am I going to have sloppy joes every day and tacos every day and make chili all the time? No, this stuff's like, all these packets will last like one year because I only make this shit once. Like... I don't even cook that much at home, and I really don't eat this kind of food when I'm back in Vietnam anyways. I mainly eat sashimi. Like, that is my primary meal five days out of the week. So, this stuff is just here. It's just gonna be here for me in Vietnam when I really am craving a taste from home. Like, the Taco Bell, if I wanna have Taco Bell, I can make it. So, that's my reasoning behind that. Shoes are probably the most important. Uh, Metamucil, look up things that you use all the time and see that that they sell them in Vietnam or not, and then go from there. That's my best tip I can tell you. It's so expensive to ship shit there, so you wanna try to bring proper stuff with you. These, of course, aren't must-haves, um, but the shoes are definitely an important thing. I hope you found the, the video useful. I'm trying to make you amazing content like I always have, even though we're here in America. Um, we'll be back to Vietnam by the middle of the month, so the channel will return to where it was. Again, thank you guys for the support. If you do want to additionally support the channel, you can do a one-time donation through PayPal. You can join the Patreon and get the Patreon exclusive content. And then if you go to the second tier on the Patreon, you can rewatch live streams. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Stay frosty. Peace out.